Hi guys and welcome again. And now I will show you how to create another one. I put it, this picture on the assignment and you can whether do it by yourself alone or you can follow my step to create this one. Okay. So as you can see we have this shape with the dimension on it. And for me, I will start from this point here, okay? So, we'll move from this point to this point, one unit. Do it together. Go, select the line, move, okay, and point, do at one in the direction of zero. And this is the line has been created. So oh, excellent. We will go again. We will what? Move up this distance. As you can see, the dimension of this distance is one. We have the same dimension as this piece. So we'll move from here to here one unit again. So at 1 in the direction of what? 90. Excellent. Back to the drawing. From here to here, one unit again. So we'll go at 1 in the direction of 180. Up here again. And this one from here to here has a dimension of 1. So this will be 1 as well. Right? 1 here. And this one will be 1 as well. So this is 1. So we'll pull at 1 in the direction of 1. Again. And then go back to the growing, moving from here to here, and they put this dimension, which is 4, from this point to this point, and this is 4 units. So we'll move at 4 in the dimension of 0, enter, and then Go to this, it will be the same. As you can see, looks like mirror shape moving from this point to this point. So, you can weather, throw this thing up to here and then do the mirror thing, or you can start creating the lines as you like. So, we'll do it step by step. So, here. We'll do the what? Let's click on the snap mode in. As you can see, I'll click in this point. And then we'll move at 1 in the direction of 180. And this will be at the same level of this here. And then this will be the same level of this. And now, as you can see, we have created this T shape and so here. And then, as you can see, there is some kind of fillet shape, right? And this fillet shape is the same as this fillet shape. And as you can see, this looks like what? Looks like it was a corner, and then they did some kind of fillet with a radius of 1. As you can see, they have put the number 4, and they telling you that there is 4 items that have the radius of 1, which is where this is, a radius of 1. This is a radius of 1, and this is a radius of 1, this is a radius of 1. Okay, and we will use the fillet command to create this shape. So, 
will move from the, this distance here to here of a distance of 2. And this will be the same. We'll move from here to this thing here. And it will be a distance. Okay. Do it together. So we'll move. Let's zoom back. Back a little bit. We'll do at 2 in the direction of 0. Excellent. Now, going back to the drawing, you will move what? This whole distance, which is 5. As we said, we will create it with pointed head. Then we'll create the fillet shape, okay? Don't forget this. We'll create it as a simple rectangle. Then we'll do the fillet shapes, okay? Now, we'll move up at 5 in the direction of what? 90, enter. And then this whole distance from here to here, what? Eight. So let's move what at eight. The angle of one eighty. Excellent. And then we'll move here and use mapping mode to here and click enter to end the fillet. Now we'll do the fillet thing and then we'll go back to create these small details in here, okay? So, how to create the fillet thing? We'll use the fillet command. So, we go to where this is the fillet. Click on it. Now, select the first object. First of all, we have state that we have to enter R to specify the radius, okay? So, click R, enter. And as we said, the radius of these shapes will be 1. So we'll go here and type what? 1. Enter. And now we can specify this object and this object. See? Well, it has been created. When you press enter, when there is no command activated, when you press enter, the last command that you have selected will be activated again. So, press enter now. As you can see, that the fillet command has been activated again. So, this will help you and make as a shortcut way for you to continue your drafting. So, I'll do it again. Enter again. Line this line. Enter again. This line, this line. And now we're done. Right? Let's go again to create the small details here. As you can see, it looks like kind of two circles with a line from, it looks like a tangent line here, and then from the center to the center of this circle. So, we'll just create a line with a dimension of 1.5 to move to the center of the circle. So as you can see, this circle has a distance, has a center, in the coordination of 1.5 here and 1.5 here. Because it looks, this circle is the same as this circle. So this distance is 1.5, and as well, this distance will be will be 1.5 as well. This is 1.5 and this distance again from here to here 1.5. Right? Makes sense. So, we'll just create or move with the line from this from here to here with a distance of what? 1.5. So, let, let me show you how. As you can see, this is a sense of 1, right? Look, circle, and now we have to move 1.5 and 1.5 from this. So, like this.
this one, like this end point of the arc, and two at 1.5, enter sorry, at 1.5 in the angle of 270, enter. The line from this point, as you can see, this is at one point five, the angle of one eighty, and as you can see, this is where I want my other circle to be in. This is the center of the circle that I want to be in. Okay? So, as you can see, there is a line here and they are telling you that the radius, I'm sorry, not the radius, the diameter of this one will be one. So, this phi sign or this phi sign is for the diameter. Okay? And I told you about this before. But the R sign is for the radius, right? So, go again here and pick the circle command, select this point at the center, and put what? D, enter, 1, enter. This is the first circle. And we will do this. Now you can delete these two lines, right? Delete it. I don't want it. Do this again on this point at 1.5, the direction of zero, right? Again, from this point, but not from this point. I will start from point. On. Any point yeah. fine. But this point I want it to be at one point five. Sorry, two. Take this, enter again from this point at what? 1.5 in the angle of 90. Enter. Do it again, zoom out. I will move this line from this point to the intersection here. And this is where I want my circle to be at, right? So I will do this. Since it's D thing, I will enter D, enter, one in. And as you can see now, I have created two circles at the same level. I have, will delete these lines. I don't need them. Now, as you can see in the drawing, we have like this line from the top quadrant, the top quadrant of the other circle. So... We'll use the what? The line command to start from this point, the top quadrant, to the top quadrant again. And then we have like what? A line from this, the left quadrant, to this quadrant of the circle. Enter. But it looks like this circle is trimmed. This part of the circle is trimmed. And this part of the circle is trimmed as well. So we'll go back to the drawing. Go to the trim command. Select all these objects that, that is related to the trimming. Right click. We'll do this and this. Enter. And as you can see, just minimize this for a second. As you can see. 
this shape is the same as right they look the same right now in the next lecture I will show you how to put and insert all the dimensions of this drawing <laughs>